Hey, good evening, Micro Map here. Gonna do a little bit of longer video than the usual YouTube shorts that I've been doing. Um, here in the after hours, Dow Future Slip has Fitch places United States on AAA rating on negative watch. Not good news. Um, they're just going back and forth with the uh, debt ceiling issue. Um, we'll figure out what gets done there. Also, the Fed uh, officials less confident on the need for more rate hikes. The minutes show. Um, eventually, the Fed will pivot. The country has too much debt, and it's just easier and less painful uh, to take our medicine by just uh, hyperinflating our currency uh, basically away, and that's what's going to happen. Um, inflation, I think, is going to get much worse. Uh, on the ironic, the ironic part is the dollar's picked up again. It's almost at that 104 handle. Um, and gold has been hit. But math is math, and I think the trajectory of the long-term debt of this country is unsustainable. And um, either they do drastic measures and cuts in uh, entitlement reforms and uh, balancing the budget over there uh, at the uh, the government level, which we hire and we select and put in place to do the right things for the country. Um, our founding fathers will be uh, rolling in our grave with the debt that we have today. And it's, it's a sad situation for the, the future uh, for the the kids of, of of this country, their future, the 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 debt that that uh, is going to burden us. Um, we'll see what happens. And my opinion is the Fed cannot raise rates to the um, the level that it needs to to rein in inflation, because then the interest on our debt uh, it will just will exceed our basically our our revenues from taxes as a country um and i don't think they're gonna go that route easiest route is just uh print more money and and that's what's been happening over the years um unfortunately but that's a scenario we're in i think DeSantis made his nomination uh to run we're still about a year, year and a half away from election time. As we get closer to next year, that's how we're going to hear. Um, right now, it's a dead ceiling, and they're going back and forth with that. And uh, that's, the, that's the crisis we have on hand. Next year, we'll have our elections. And then, you know, we'll figure out, you know, the Saudis said that uh, speculators will be surprised with oil uh, with oil, so I don't know if they're going to uh, talk about more cuts there and we might get a price uh, hike in, in, in the barrel of oil, um, but we shall see. We also have China messing with, uh, eventually, with Taiwan. Some of the big wigs like Elon Musk and other big guys have mentioned it, that that's a big problem. Um, Microsoft in the after hour warned that China hackers attack U.S. infrastructure. Uh, it's in the headlines three hours ago. Uh, Netflix password sharing crackdown rolls out in the U.S. And Netflix stock was down. Uh, well, in the after hour, it was down. It was up 2.5% on the day. So good day for Netflix. All-time high on Netflix was over $600. Um, so it seems like it's approaching those that this breakout point here of uh, 391 um, could break down. Maybe we'll see old highs again eventually. I mean, the streaming wars, I would say they're winning, and Disney is not doing any favors to their uh, stockholders and, and image, I think. So we'll see what happens. A lot of news today with Target, pretty crazy. That stock has been hidden. You can look up on social media what's going on with them. But, man, some of these companies, uh, Budweiser, uh, you know, another one that's 
You look at them and they've fallen off a cliff in the last month. Look at that. Uh, six months chart. Look at that. And if you look at Target, look at Target. Now, if you look at Coors Light, <laughs> my wife's like, everybody's drinking Coors Light now. You go to Coors Light and that one's tap. Uh, they've gone up. So, you know, I guess consumers have the power and uh, see what happens there. Um, but I'm not going to get political or anything like that. Just talking about stocks here. Um and their trends, obviously. I wish I would have bought some Vita Coco. Didn't buy Vita Coco when it was trading in the ten dollar range. I drink a lot of coconut water, so good for you. Um and this stock has really revved up in the last six months. Look at that chart. Coco, symbol Coco. And uh coconut water is great for you. Coconut water uh, sixteen ounces gives you about a million uh, about a thousand milligrams of potassium. Potassium is very, uh, very important for you, and probably one of the electrolytes that is. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, deficient. Americans are deficient in um, in potassium. You need about four thousand milligrams of potassium a day, and sodium about two two thousand twenty five hundred. Getting ready for the Panthers game here. I'm so excited. Hopefully I can wrap it up. Um, hopefully I can wrap it up. The ring, the the, the the coaches from the Dolphins was banging on the uh, drums. But um, hopefully they could close it out today. The Heat failed to close it out yesterday. But, you know, it's hard. It's a series, you know. Not going to win them all. Um, so where was I at? So yeah, I haven't done a lot of videos on the stocks because a couple reasons why. Um, it's been pretty quiet in regards to the market. We could take a look at the VIX. I think it's VIX. Uh, no, it's not VIX. Actually, so it should be up here in the in the uh, top. Um, the VIX is sixteen. I want to say. I usually have it here. No, it's not here. Uh, I mean, you can. I, I like looking at. Let me see. Slash VX. VX maybe. No, I know it's VIX. Uh, let me look on Google. VIX. So something they might have rolled over. Well, we're we're up eight percent on the VIX. The fifty-two week low was fifteen dollars. Wow, that was a month ago. So we're creeping up there. Maybe a break here of uh, let's see what this pivot here is. So we broke this month here of twenty. No, that's twenty oh nine. So. VIX is perking up. Well, we were down today, so... Um, you know, it might, it might, it might get better here to, to sell stuff, but I haven't really been doing a lot of stuff because the VIX is low, and I don't want to be buying calendar spreads all the time. Uh, I hate buying options. They're decaying assets. Stay away from it. I have been nibbling on some retail stocks, I have, so I'm overweight oil, I'm overweight precious metals, uh, I'm overweight uh, foreign stocks via the um, FKIDX, I'm, I'm overweight here. Where am I underweight? I'm underweight technology right now, um, financial sector, which I've been nibbling here and there. Um, because they've been really sold off hard. I think the tech sector is overvalued. I would like to get in the US tech sector. Um, maybe the FK, maybe this international fund has exposure to, to, um, to uh, overseas uh, technology. 
I would have to look at the prospectus, but I just put there my 401k and trying to max out that bad boy before the end of the year. Um, but underway technology as a whole here, um, I've been nibbling at some of the regionals through the uh, ETF, the XR, KRE, um, and also retailers, or you could do the XRT, but I've been picky with some of the retailers, just hand picking them. And um, what would I like to add? I would like to add some technology, to be honest with you, but I just think it's overweight right now. So not really, uh, don't want to overpay for that, you know? And I think the dollar will go down. So I think that commodities will, will do better. And I think that, uh, and I think being that oil is in a 40 year low, the SPR, that, um, that, you know, oil is the place to be. Cause I think, uh, these oil energy company services and all that, the XOP or an XLE, uh, they'll do pretty good. And they've had a pretty good sell off. So that's my thought process on that. Um, there is an AI uh, FOMO going right now with this all is real AI time talk insights. I'm like here that. with Lee Henderson, I've America's EY private from me, from leader. It. Lee, thanks so much for joining um, us. That's just We're talking my, about the fundraising landscape, specifically for mid sized companies. What's it. it looking like right um, now? Well, the good thing is but deals are, are still getting done, big but venture companies out there, there that I would like to be in, how to deploy their capital, uh, I would like to add, but like I said, I would so like when you skew that formula to profitability versus just growth at all costs, you're naturally going to see fewer and, uh, deals and more investor friendly, in the meantime, longer close pick, times. Pick so it's just a lot more conservative approach right now that we're seeing. How should mid-sized companies adapt their approach to fundraising? On the bar chart, we got the game starting here, so we'll go. We'll take a look at the bar chart here quickly. Um, Earnings season is about a wrap, but we really haven't had any big. Uh, I did a couple of YouTube shorts on some of the bigger, bigger uh, winners and losers. Planeteer is one that um, was down three percent, and it's had a good rally. They had a decent earnings report. Take a look at that one. A lot of the Chinese auto EV makers were down today because XP didn't do that good, but Lee was up, and that's a telltale. Lee was up LI and I own shares in LE. Uh, LI, I'm sorry, LI. Uh, Netflix was up on probably on that share passing, uh, password sharing news. Um, let me see what other standouts. Palo Alto had earnings, they were up 7%. Uh, what else here? Just going down the line here. We talked about XP down 5%. Freeport McMoran down 4% FCX. That's a copper correlated play. I will take a look at that. That started to get a little bit enticing at these levels. Icon Enterprise, I did a YouTube short there. I mean, Mr. Icon has lost $15 billion of net worth uh, with that Hindenburg report, and he got caught uh, betting against the market, apparently. And he has some over -ass overvalued assets on his book that he's overvaluing. And um, wow, the, the cats almost scored. Oh, we scored already. Ha 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 ha, one nothing, baby. Go cats, baby. Go cats. We're up one nothing. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to contemplate if I go to a Stanley Cup game. I mean, so the cats have been around 30 years and uh, they made it in 1990. They started in 93, they made it in 96, and they lost to the Avalanche. So they've been around 30 years. I really started going a lot to the Panthers games uh, about October of last year. I've always watched them and stuff like that, but I never really got into it. And I was like, oh, man, I got to go to the game because I love hockey. so fast-paced. And uh, maybe I've been a lucky charm for them because... I went to a lot of games this year, and I was blessed. I was Monday. I wish I would have gone today, but, you know, your budget can only take so much as well. you got to be choosy. Stanley Cup tickets would be crazy. I don't know how much they're going for. I see, we'll see when, when, they, if, when they win and, and when all that stuff, stuff plays out. So be interesting to see. 
Sorry if I if I jump ship on what I was talking about. Um, Airbnb, another one that I like that I've been adding. And I don't understand this AI thing. It's up 2.5% today, but whatever it is, what it is. Uh, let's see what else. SoFi, I've done videos on. JDCom, down 3%. Plug, I own some plug. It was up. They had a contract. Um, and they were up pretty big. And they pulled back a little bit. But some good news on them. Carvana, down 3%. Kohl's, uh, I think they had a profit up 7%. But... Insiders are buying that stock, but I have no interest in that space, to be honest with you. Pinterest up 2%. Wonder what's going on there today. V, v, uh, FC, they make vans and other apparel down 3%. But they, they had a beat, I think, on the quarter. Maybe take a look at that one. That's starting to get a little undervalued. And some of the apparel names have been doing pretty good. So maybe there's a, a rebound there in the horizon. Roblox up 2%. Simo, how to find out what happened with Simo, but they were up 7%, probably did earnings. Roku up 4%. John Deere down 6 bucks. Added a little bit of John Deere to today. Been adding as it comes down. Analog devices down 3%. Look at 3M, wow, 96 bucks uh, into it. Another one that I did a short on, be careful. IRS is trying to come out with maybe their own uh, own platform for taxes. American Eagle crushing the after hours, gave up all its regular day gains. Crosstrek up as well with Palo Alto. Oh, I hate when I do that, sorry. ANF up 31%, incredible. I would imagine that was a short squeeze. I would have to see what the short interest is in that. And that's your top 100 and 50 stocks with options today um see what else full locker has not gotten an uptick down to 26. my deckers pick hasn't been doing good either but i think that they're going to surprise with those hookah sneakers i think they're going to take some market share out of crocs the hookah sandals are pretty cool they're comfortable they're 60 bucks i got a pair um I'm a fan of their products, man. Their sneakers are very comfortable. Really, really like them. So I think they'll, they'll, they'll help Decker in the futures. We'll see. Uh, what else? I'll keep going off on tangent here. I'm going to get my eye on the, on the Panthers game soon here. Dish down 5%. Nut nutrient. That's a, a fertilizer play. Take a look at that, down 4%. I think they had horrible, worse earnings than expected, but when that gas so low, uh, their business model has to get better, along with Mosaic. So, yeah, hey, those were the. that's what I see out there. Hopefully, we'll get more volatility with this debt ceiling deal, and we'll get a sell-off, and, and uh, we could pick up some stuff on discounts. Anyway, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Good night.